All right, this is question number three from the Calc AB and Calc BC uh, exams from 2014. And uh, it's one of those where you're given a graph of the derivative and you got to figure all kinds of stuff out. Uh, so the first thing we got to do is find g of 3, where g of x is defined to be the integral from negative 3 to x of f of t dt. So this is going to be a geometry problem, really. Um, so g of 3 is the integral from negative 3 to 3 of f of t dt. And let's look at the picture. So that area right there is 6 because it's half of a rectangle that has an area of 12. Um, I'm going to draw two lines here. So there and there. You can actually kind of see that those areas are symmetric, but they have opposite signs, so they're just going to cancel out. Uh, this remaining region here is uh, 2 plus 1, uh, so that's going to be 3. Or you could do the area of a trapezoid if you want. I think it's easier to do a rectangle and then a triangle. Um, and then, as I mentioned, these two areas are just going to cancel out. So overall, I get 6 plus 3, or 9. Uh, and that's actually part A, so let's move on to part B. So in part B, I need to find the intervals where the graph of G is increasing and concave down. So uh, let's see, G prime of X is just going to be F of X by the second fundamental theorem of calculus. And if G of X is increasing, that means that um, g prime, which is f of x, must be positive. So what I'll do is on the graph, I'm going to highlight all the places that it's positive. Uh, so there, there, and there. And then if uh, g of x is concave down, then g prime of x, uh, which again is f of x, must be decreasing. So I'm going to highlight those regions. So there and there. That was from negative 5 to 3, and then from 0 to 2. I don't know if you can... Negative 5 to negative 3, and then 0 to 2. I'm not sure you can actually see that. Probably can. I don't know. Um, anyway, so combining that information, therefore, g of x is increasing and concave down on the intervals negative 5 to negative 3, and 0 to 2. So that one's not so bad. Mostly second fundamental theorem, and then just understanding the relationship between a first derivative and the functions... Uh, whether it's increasing, decreasing, and whether it's concave up or down. Uh, let's look at C. So in question C, we're given a new function, which is uh, related to the previous function. And so h of x is g of x over 5x. And then we're asked to find h prime of something. So it's going to be the quotient rule. Uh, you could actually factor out 1 fifth and make your life easier, but I chose not to because, you know, why make life easy? So it's bottom, and then derivative of the top is g prime of x, and then minus top. And derivative of the bottom will be 5. So you can see I got 5s all over the place that I didn't need. And then uh, bottom squared. Okay, so now I need the values to plug in. Uh, I know that g of 3 is 9 because I found that before. Actually, if you had gotten that wrong, you just have to use the value that you got there anyway. Um, but I got 9, and I'm pretty confident. Um, g prime of 3, you can just read off the graph because that's f of 3. And f of 3, if you um, look, you, you end up at negative 2. You could write the equation of that line and then plug in 3, uh, but you're always just going uh, down 2 over 1. So if you start at 0, 4, and keep doing that, you're going to end up at uh, negative 2. And uh, now we can plug in. So h prime of 3 is 5 times 3 times negative 2 minus 9 times 5, and then all over 5 times 3 squared. You could actually stop there, which is probably a good idea because you might make a mistake with what I'm about to do. But if you want to live on the edge... Uh, we can write negative 75 over 225, and then if you really want to go crazy, you could simplify that to negative one-third. Um, but the answer in the box is an acceptable answer, so you might as well stop there. All right, let's take a look at uh, the last part of this question. They define another function for us. So in this case, p of x is f of x squared minus x. So this one's going to test our knowledge of the chain rule. Um, we need to find the slope of the line tangent to p at uh, x equals negative 1. So I need p prime which will be f prime of x squared minus x times the derivative of that, so 2x minus 1. And now it's a plugging in problem, so p prime of negative 1 will be f prime of 2 times negative 3. Um, I need f prime of 2, but if you look at the graph of f, uh, it's linear between 0 and 4, and it has a slope of negative 2. So p prime of negative 1 is negative 2 times negative 3, which is 6. And uh, that's the entire question, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.